Fourth of July celebrations and family time are already in full swing, but it's also a time that many injuries and even deaths can happen to children if not careful. As our Samson Tamashi shows us, what advice medical professionals have for parents? Accidents and injuries see a big uptick during holiday weekends, but according to pediatrician Dr. Wes Doublefield with ADPH, simple precautionary measures before and during all the fun can make a difference in saving lives. We think about ATV safety, wearing a helmet, uh, don't letting uh, underage kids get on ATVs because we see a lot of ATV accidents um, in any really sort of motorized vehicle that um, that children shouldn't be driving. To Stubblefield, responsible celebrating a 4th of July also begins with little things like sunblock and hydration during the heat. And since summers in Alabama call for river and lake fun, watching over the kids is a must. And make sure your children are supervised at all times. Um, all children should be under direct parental supervision while they're in the water. Unfortunately, drownings are prevalent this summer in Alabama, and Stubblefield would like to see this weekend break the trend. It can happen so fast. I've, I've, I've been a part of uh, both of um, fatal drownings and non-fatal drownings, and, um, and I've, uh, you know, the, the ones, the non-fatal ones, they, they happen in a, in a blink of an eye. It's just so important to have somebody that's dedicated to watching the children that has all their wits about them. Um, and, uh, and can respond to emergencies, you know, and somebody that can do first aid if needed. In Madison County, Samson Tamajani, News 19. And it's not just children we need to look out for this 4th of July holiday, but for war veterans with PTSD as well. A behavioral health expert warns that sound of fireworks, the pops, the booms can be triggering for some and say it's vital veterans with PTSD should think about finding ways to cope before the fireworks get lit. What to do is just find me a, a very quiet place uh, and surround myself. Maybe with the things I would call distractions. You know, you may want to watch television. Uh, you may want to put your headphones on. Remind yourself of kind of what is what's going on. You have to pause for a minute and think about it. Uh, that what you're doing does impact and affect other people. If you or know someone who is a veteran experiencing symptoms of PTSD, help is available 24 hours a day at the veteranscrisisline.net. Millions of, of Americans traveling this holiday weekend, those flying to their destinations, are dealing with flight disruptions. Friday and Saturday saw thousands of flights canceled or delayed, and those problems continued into Sunday, with more than 2,000 flights delayed, at least 200 more canceled by mid-afternoon. Here's ABC's Zorin Zaha with more details. Millions of Americans are on the move, ready to celebrate the 4th of July holiday. Barbecue, 4th of July, boat rides, fireworks. The TSA says it screened nearly 2.5 million travelers on Friday, the most in one day since the pandemic began. You know, we always wish we had more staff, but we have enough staffing for this weekend. And as, as you might know, we also have about 1,000 officers in TSA that have volunteered to go on a temporary basis to help other airports. Increased demand for travel, along with pandemic-related staffing shortages and stormy weather, are presenting challenges for the airlines. Thousands of flights have been delayed or canceled nationwide since Friday. We got delayed on our first flight, and we had to switch flights, and we're hoping it doesn't happen again because we have stuff to do. and. We want to get home. Airlines blame the recent surge in cancellations on the FAA, but Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg disputes that claim, threatening to sanction airlines. There are some things you can't control, like weather, but there are a lot of things that the airlines can and should control to make sure that they can service the tickets that they're selling. I think these uh, next couple of days are really going to put those measures to the test. Many travelers are opting to avoid the airports. AAA estimates 42 million people will be driving to their holiday destination. Destinations. Atlanta, Boston, and Chicago are among the cities expected to see the most traffic. But high gas prices have some people opting to just stay home for the holiday. With the gas prices, I can't really go anywhere. And she's off for summer break. We would love to go to the beach and stuff like that, but it's just been impossible. Zorin Shah, ABC News, Los Angeles. This holiday weekend, the Wiregrass is celebrating, and if you are still looking for last-minute plans, well, let's see what's going on. Starting this evening at 7, Bethany Baptist Church in New Brockton is having a fireworks show, and the fun doesn't stop there. Tomorrow on 4th of July, Ashford will have a holiday celebration at the Recreation Park from 2 to 9. Alba's Let the Freedom Ring event will be at the Square downtown and starts at 6. Enterprise will have a Fellowship and Freedom event at the VFW starting at 4. 
with Headland's AG Parade and Fireworks Show also from 4 to 9. And here to give us a look at what we could expect weather-wise for the rest of our 4th of July holiday weekend, meteorologist Andrew Clark. Andrew? Well, Alex and everyone else, unfortunately, those rain chances are far from done. And that does include for the 4th of July as well. We've got more shower and storm chances coming. I'll have all you need to know after the break.